Hey guys, hey guys, it's Davison. I'm here in my hospital bed. Um, I was about to say hotel bed because I'm getting increasingly confused. And um, I guess I should explain what's happening to me. I don't know how long I feel the strength to talk, or I mean, how long I'll have the strength to talk, but basically I, um, have been sick since January with a mysterious disease that started with a fever and gastrointestinal symptoms that kept waking me up at night. My heart would pound and then I'd go to the bathroom only at night, number two, not number one. And I started having very vivid dreams and interrupted sleep, which turned progressively into more and more insomnia. I was sleeping only two hours a night and I got sweaty palms and sweaty feet um, with tossing and turning and I'd hypersalivate and since then it's morphed into increasing thinking and emotional problems, increased anxiety um, and and weird thoughts having false memories that I that never happened. Um, it's been a horror show um, and my vision also progressively has gotten worse and I have fluid at the back of my right retina. And now on top of that, as of mid-April, I get involuntary body jerks and my body holds its, myself in weird positions. So let's just show you, um, where can I put you? There. So today when I walk, my, my hands, hold on, let's walk. My hands want to hold in this position and I get hand tremors. I feel when I hold them out, they're always shaking. Um, and I get body jerks when I lay in bed at night or if someone startles me, that's the startle my myoclonus, which is why I suspect that I have a prion disease, a sporadic prion disease that gradually um, builds up in your brain. It's proteins that are incorrect and misfold and you end up with holes. It's a form of mad cow disease. And so far, because scans haven't shown anything other than fluid at the back of my right retina, um, they and, and because I've inc had increased anxiety, they think that I'm somatizing this and that it's not real when in reality, um, or it's not real, it's that they don't know the reason for the symptoms and I'm overly obsessed with my illness. Meanwhile, I keep suffering more and more. I, I Tonight too, I, I was thinking, where's my lanyard? Because nurses wear lanyards and I've never worn a lanyard here. And I'm, I'm forgetting the, the, sorry, excuse me. I also get gastrointestinal symptoms still too. I get waves of nausea. I also lost a massive amount of weight, but I've regained some because of the medication I'm on. Um, I lost, um, I lost like 20 pounds. I was down to, a, well, the, maybe not, maybe 16. I was down to 122 pounds and my face has changed. I, I can't, I also, that was another thing. I can't laugh like I used to. And the part of my personality that was fun, playful, and that loved to make videos died gradually as my health has gotten worse and worse. Um, and that's also too why they are treating the psychiatric side but not these, the symptoms of involuntary movement. And you can see like I have a flat face and I, the medication I'm on is making me grow more hair on my face. Um, but I'll show you the body jerks. So yeah, that's um, what I was in the middle of saying something, I cut myself off. Um, I've gotten more involuntary movements as of April. My handshake, I get jerks. There's just so many symptoms that I've had throughout the course of this because it's affecting my entire brain. Another thing that I've, I forgot to mention too is that I've had increasing number of red, tiny red um, uh, lesions. They're not lesions really, I mean, they're like red spots, like little spots of blood beneath my, my skin surface all over my, my body. Um, I, I, I would show you some, but I can't turn the camera around because I'm doing this in one shot. But anyhow, let me show you. So actually, with regards to the red dots, I wanted that to be called Davison's sign if I die, when I die, because it's a sign of what's going on 
in my brain. What, what is often how your skin appear, appears is a good reflection of your overall health and what's on the outside is a reflection of what's on the inside frequently. So that's why I say like if, if you're, if, yeah, that, that's why I say if you're, you're sick and you're battling an infection, you might break out in more pimples. Well, in this case, I, I've got these tiny red, tiny red dots that are appearing in greater and greater numbers all over my body. And I want it to be called Davison's sign because doctors as of yet don't fully believe me, though I am seeing a neurologist soon again. Um, but here's my body jerks. I don't know how to show them to you. They're horrible. Can I put you down here? Oh, my, oh, my legs kick out involuntarily at night. Okay, hold on. Oh. That's my body jerks. If I bend a certain way when I lay down, I get these involuntary jerks that won't stop. It's called myoclonus. So, huh, that's my body jerking. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad and I'm in pain. I also get stabbing headaches. And then sometimes clear fluid drains from my nose after the stabbing headaches. Um, I also, sometimes when I wake up at night and I close my eyes, I can see shapes. Um, and I see flickering of images. And so that's what's been going on with me. And I'm sorry I look so bad. I just, I'm sick and I'm possibly dying very soon. So... Thank you for all your support all over the years, or I mean, over all the years. And thank you for following my journey. I didn't think it would end so soon, and I didn't think I would end up with such a horrible disease that they don't have a diagnosis for, that they have mislabeled somatizing disorder due to a mood disorder. They claim that I was depressed, and that's what led to all of this. I was never depressed. I was always happy. You guys know this. I was happy in December, and then I got sick in January and never got better. And it started gastrointestinal leave with the flu and then ended up like this. And uh, there's no end to how much worse I keep getting. So thank you. Thank you. Um, live your life to the fullest. I understand what that means now. I've been thinking a lot about my past because I don't have much of a future. I love my son. I love you, Max. I love my family. I love you, I love you my family. My mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, Goldie, Jonathan. Um, thank you for all my fans. Um, who else do I love? Everyone in life. I loved life. I tried to have so much fun. And um, I'm weak. I've been weak and tired. I haven't slept through the night. Since December, I wake up all the time, and my um, I get I get also muscle pain, and and another thing I forgot to show you too, my wrists are permanently contracted. See the tendon in my wrist, right there? It's permanently, permanently stuck in a position. So, um. I didn't think I would, my life would end up like this. It's proof that you never know. A lot of life is luck. It's luck. And I got really bad, bad luck. But I was lucky to have you guys. And I was lucky to be able to live the career I, I wanted. It just ended up being a lot shorter than I wanted.